Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at gate token and ask the question, would I buy or should you buy GT, not financial advice, in the bear market? This is installment 68 of 1001. As always, you can see a link to every video in the series in the description of this video. And if you like this content, smash up that like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section. But let's go ahead and dive right on into this would I buy gate token in the bear market? Well, let me just make it simple, cut and dry. This is not one that I have any intention of buying. It is not on my radar as a cryptocurrency that will go to the moon or anything like that. I have a great deal of confidence that, yeah, it'll be higher at some point, at some euphoria, but that this is not going to be like the big winner or anything near the big winner of the next cycle. That has nothing to say about gate IO. It is a very a very old, it's ancient by crypto standards platform. Um, it has withstood the test of time. It is doing fine. It's just that really, I mean, this is, I don't even think that this is something that like people who really love diehard gate IO people are going to, th that they're not going to be offended by hearing me say no. I mean, just looking at the charts, you're looking at the price, the all time chart is pulled up. I mean, th there's a couple of things actually I want to point out first. Look at the volume, $924,000. That is insanely low for a market cap of $449 million. Um, and that's, that's fine. It's just that that's not what you're, you're using this cryptocurrency for. You're not using it to um, to see enormous returns. It is just something that you it, it grows as the platform grows, which is fine. But then if you look at how far it is down from its blow, you could call that a blow off top for sure. Blow off top in May of 2021. It's only down about 60% as of the making of this video. And I think a lot of that has to do, not all of it, but some of it has to do with the fact that um, people are just kind of scrambling at, you know, in January of 2023, at least for where can I hold my crypto? Where's a reliable place and they're going to, to gate IO. Um, I mean, if you bought, if you bought GT before then you did very well, but as of today, this is not something that, you know, will it put in a higher high? It most likely will, but getting back to its all time high is a two and a half X. Whereas for something like Cardano from its bear market bottom, I'm very confident that, that Cardano will put in a, uh, in, in a new a new all time high next time around. That's a twenty x, and so that just happens to be one of those things where it's like this: the price has not gone down enough. The volume is very low. Nobody, I don't think, is expecting this to be like the next big winner, and so. I, I feel like for the most part, if you just want to stop watching at this point, I just, I don't think I'm going to get much argument from this, but as always, I'll look at tokenomics. So GT tokenomics, there was no ICO, no private placement and no institutional investment in GT's launch, which I think also contributes to the fact that it's only down 60% from its all time high. Um, none of that manipulation from people who filled their bags with deep pockets, you know, but anyway, GT was issued in 2019 and officially upgraded to the gate IO utility token on March 2nd, 2020. The total initial issuance was 1 billion and then 700 million was burnt. The current circulation is 300 million, but users can purchase on the gate IO platform and they can mine. And so there is some level of inflation with, the, with this cryptocurrency. I have not been able to find that level of inflation. I don't think that it's going to play whatever that inflation is that it's going to play a huge role in suppressing the price of this cryptocurrency uh, in the future. You can take a look at the this really ugly chart here and you can see that of you know, the initial burn of 700 million, but then there is a continuing burn from gate IO. And you can see of that 300 million that's left, um, 139 have been burned, 139 million. So that leaves 130 million in circulation and then another 30 million that's stored, that's waiting to be mined. So whatever the case may be, even if that was all mined within a year or so that wouldn't have a, a catastrophic effect on the suppression of the price, you know? So 
Anyway, simple, short and simple. No, this is not on my radar. I don't think that anyone is really thinking like, oh yeah, gate token to the moon. Here we go. And that's fine. We we know what gate token is. We're not going to be shocked by anything to the downside or the upside. And there is a space for that in the cryptocurrency sphere. Um, but as far as the purpose of this series, it's a simple no, and we can leave it at that. But anyway, that is all I have for today. I hope you have a happy Sunday, and I will most certainly be seeing you in another video. Or happy Sunday or whatever day you're watching this. Peace.